Um, before we go to our last tune of the evening tonight, um, I, you know, I, I pass the program around checking names because I'm always afraid I'm going to leave somebody out or misspell. And the first thing the senior said to me, they were like, I'm a senior and you didn't put me on the program, like as a senior. And I was like, yeah, that's right, because if I did that, then the whole program would be full of seniors almost. So I thought I would recognize them one by one, um, make it a little bit more meaningful for them too. This has been a great group of seniors and I hate to, that I have to graduate them this year uh, from our program. Um, I, I tried to, they wouldn't let me have your calculus grades and your English <laughs> grades. So. Um, so I'm just gonna recognize each senior. So when I call your name, just raise your hand and say hey or toot your horn or whatever you'd like to do, okay? And the first one I call out may do that. <laughs> so, um, first is a young man who has exceptional talent in jazz, in drama, in just about anything. And he will be attending NYU this fall. Mr. RJ Christian. Woo! Up next is um, a young lady who has taken on the music library full force <laughs> this year for me as we revamped our jazz library, and I'm pretty sure I've stressed her out <laughs> quite a bit this semester. Um, she's done a tremendous job, and um, she's done a tremendous job playing the oboe as well. Miss Erin Griego. <laughs> <laughs> Up next, I asked this young man to go a little bit out of his comfort zone and play a different saxophone for this time around. I asked him to play the tenor. Um, he always comes in with probably what I, what I call the coolest t-shirts. Like I have like the cool t-shirt of the day, and he usually wins the cool t-shirt of the day. It's just He just wears super cool stuff. Um, so this is Mr. Ian Williams on tenor saxophone. <laughs> <laughs> Up next is a young man who um, I've told him several times and sometimes I don't think he believes me. He just says yes sir and thank you. Um, but he has an exceptional sound on his instrument and uh, at times last year he played a little too loud. He said a lot of too loud and telling a little less of him. <laughs> but this year he's toned it down, but he's, he's been, he's just been tremendous this year and done an excellent job. And, um, I think September, is that when? August, August, a little closer, August. In August, this young man will be joining the Marines. Next time. <laughs> Um, you've already seen her perform tonight before Jazz Band, and they've done an excellent job with Miss Erin Griego as well, um, doing the Color Guard performance. Um, Sage has been uh, just an excellent leader for our Color Guard this year. She's done a lot behind the scenes that really just helped the Color Guard um, really excel this season, and they had an excellent season this fall. Um, Miss Sage Duffy on the floor. He and I have had some bouts here and there, but he knows that I, I love him dearly. He's, he's an excellent student, a very, very good musician, and uh, I'm very proud of this young man as well. Sometimes he may not think I am, but I'm very, very proud of him. And uh, that young man is Gabe Long. <laughs> Up next, um, this young man joined us last year, and I joined you last year as well, so it was kind of cool. We both came in kind of together. Um, and he, I, it's been tremendous to watch his growth and as a musician 
over these last couple of years, and um, I'm extremely proud of his growth uh, as a musician and as also as a person. Um, and I'm very, and I was very excited. He sent me an email the other day, and he said, "Mr. Owak, I'm I'm in. I got accepted, and he will be attending Western Carolina University this fall to study music education, making sure he wouldn't put more Okay, music education, uh, Mr. Andrew Austin." Um, up next is, a, is another bright young man that uh, we've had many talks, and um, he was talking about horticulture and talking about some really cool stuff that I didn't really know anything about, but it was really cool, and I was trying to learn more from him. We had many talks during marching season this year as well, trying to just, I was trying to figure out what, what it was that he was wanting to pursue, and I thought it was really neat, and um, we're going to miss him. Uh, we're going we're gonna to keep his brother for a little bit longer. We lost his other brother last year to graduation. So, uh, Mr. Jeremy McAdams on trumpet. Uh, um, up next, and we didn't get a tune together for this young lady to sing on this concert. And Mr. Presley, shame on us. Shame on us. We should have we should have gotten something together. Um, she's got a, a beautiful voice and. It's, it's hard to describe. It's got a, a certain antiquity to it, um, almost Ella Fitzgerald-like. Um, it's really beautiful. And ironic that I should say that. She sung an Ella Fitzgerald tune on our last concert. Um, but she's been really heavily involved in our band program and our choir program and also in the drama and also had a pretty big role in the uh, musical Guys and Dolls as well. So, uh, Miss Katie Mickus. I told you there were a lot of seniors on this list. <laughs> and it, it's really sad. Uh, up next, and I'm so happy she decided to join Symphonic Band with us this year, too. It was really cool. And we featured her on a bass solo with RJ on the marching show. And it was really, really super cool. And uh, she's been a part of our jazz band for at least, I know since I've been here, which has been awesome. For here, okay, awesome. And really fantastic bass player. I, th I think we've, we've got her love of jazz really moving. She's kind of seeing it, I think, I hope. Telling her, you know, as a bass player, you gotta be able to do both so you can get some gigs, okay? Um, <laughs> So make a little money off the base, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So um, without further ado, Miss Deanna Anacon. All right. Last but not least, and the man in the most interesting shirt I have ever seen in my entire life. You got to show that sleeve, old man. Take a look at that. Isn't that fancy? Isn't that schnazzy? Yeah. <laughs> this young man has an unbelievable talent for music. Uh, whether it's singing, whether it's playing his horn, whether it's playing a berry sax that I didn't even know that he did till somebody said, hey, that, that guy that you got that plays berry sax. He said, yeah, that's Nick Simon. He said, no, not Nick Simon. I'm like, who are you talking about? Nick Simon's the only one I got played Barry Sack. <laughs> and he said, no, it's this guy. And I'm like, and then I heard him play Barry Sack. like, oh my gosh, he plays everything. He even played bassoon last year. And I'm like, golly, a man of many, 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 many talents. And um, the young man who always comes to my office and asks me, can I do anything for you? Can I help you? Um, what can I do for you today? Um, and I'm pretty sure he would give you the shirt off his back. Um, Mr. Owen Wormuth. <laughs> he might not give you that shirt, though. <laughs> All right. Um, one last person that will be leaving us, um, and this young man has uh, really, really brought a lot to our program on both the jazz side and also on the concert side as well. 
Um, he's taken on a lot of our students privately, taught them a lot of really, really great stuff. And um, we're excited that he's graduating, and, but we're a little sad that he's leaving us. We wish he could stay here with us. He's, he's, really, he's really been a great asset to our program. And he's been like a second director for me, really helping me out. And uh, he's been a, a real true friend and a real trooper. And he's kept my spirits up and I hope I've kept his spirits up too. And um, I know I've learned a lot from him this semester. And I know our students have learned a lot from him as well. Um, as you can tell, our trumpets are really rocking this semester. And I, I'm gonna credit a lot of that to Mr. Presley. So this is Mr. Nick Presley. And as I said before, it's really been a pleasure. I've learned a lot about myself, a lot about music, a lot about these kids that are just so wonderful. You guys are like shining stars, really, all of you. You guys are going to be the best lawyers, and doctors, and musicians, and I don't know, evangelists, whatever you want to be. <laughs> because you're going to be great, whatever it is. And I really appreciate you guys letting me work with you. It's been really awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, just next tune, um, Sing Sing Sing, the good old good one as well, and uh, it's featuring Michael Stamey on the drums. Here's Sing Sing Sing. <laughs> 